Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. For the first time in... what year is it? I've been working on something new. Pick up and drop quests in a wave function collapse procedural environment. That sounds good, doesn't it? Shame it doesn't work. So what's it all about? Pick up and drop quests are where you drive your clomper over to a quest item. You pick it up, keep it inside the clomper, and take it to a place to drop it off. Back in June last year, I had it working, but with placeholder world generation. Then I rebuilt the world generation with a wave function collapse algorithm and broke it. Before fixing it, I decided to rework the netcode with Mirror, and regular viewers will know the dark place I've been ever since. Although it can be fun to explore procedurally generated worlds, I want to put quests in too. Those quests are likely to have special world pieces. For pick up and drop, I need two. I need somewhere flat to put the quest item and somewhere flat to deliver it to. Here's the world. Excuse the ugliness, we're just worried about algorithms for now. Beauty will come later. The polygons are areas that are generated and synchronized across the network. That's the world that has been created. The wireframes are the as yet ungenerated places. If you want to know more about the algorithm, I've linked the video up in the top corner. For the pickup place, we need to choose somewhere over here, away from any of the existing generation. Once the clomper has picked up the item, we'll choose a new place for the drop off in much the same way. However, it's not quite working. I've managed to turn it into a hellish disco dance floor. I've put more effort into joining in on the community this week. I've helped others debug their game. Hi Peter. I learned about putting together branding from Tauheed and marvelled at the lifelike yet buggy AI that Tom Wayland uses to do his streams. How are my dev buddies out there? Some of you are a little quiet. You all okay? My Discord DMs are open. If you enjoyed that, pop a like. And if you want more, please hit subscribe. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.